Hello, my fellow Igbos, people of Biafra land, I greet you all. If this is your first time of uh, watching my video, please help your brother by hitting the subscribe red button. By so doing, you promote my YouTube channel. Hit also the bell sign so that when I make the next video, you'll be among the first people to get there a lot. May God bless you as you do this. So I will, I'm not going to waste time to allow the ball rolling. What am I going to talk on this time around? It's all about what is going on amongst the Biafran agitators, you know. So, more especially amongst the group leaders. Um, I believe that we are fighting the same goal. We are fighting the same goal. The same goal we are fighting. We want to achieve the same thing. The objective is the same. But we should not be constrained and challenges to ourselves. What am I trying to establish? I watched a video made by a lady or a woman by name Oluchi Lloyd, you know, I carefully listened to her. She really um, condemned one of the videos made by another um, leader of uh, either IPOB or Masob or Biafra, you know. So her own version is that the so-called Chinedu Peter also the BVI Channel One, you know TV, that the way and manner of which he came on the social media uh, to the public to publish the data, including the phone number of uh, three Igbo guys living abroad whom he claimed or alleged that are uh, haunting his life, that wants to kill him or to put to an end his uh, journalism, you know, or his uh, um, movement, his own movement on this actualization of sovereignty of Biafra. So... One of the things the lady stated that made her mad was um, the way he published um, the phone numbers, the residence, and the names of the guys without even consulting them. So I don't know whether she was able to, uh, you know, uh, make findings that Chinedu did not consult them or uh, had some interaction with them. You know, before he published uh, the video to the public crying for his life, you know. So, he called Ch the, the Chinedu a saboteur, you know. So, he was really condemning the action of the young man. You know? I'm not supporting any of them, but one thing they, that I never liked is this she was of she was angry on Chinedu for coming on the on public to criticize these people to report uh, these people on what is suspected that they are planning against him 
But when I was watching her own video, I equally saw her. I even observed and deduced that she was the person that called one of the guys, the one in South, um, South Africa, either AGK by name or whatever, asking him whether he heard or listened or watched the video made by Chinedu. So the guy, I think from how he responded, he he not been able to, you know, watch the video as at the moment. So she was reporting to the guy exactly what Chinedu did and was asking the guy um, whether actually uh, his, his, uh, the, the, the call, the WhatsApp record that Chinedu, you know, displayed on the video was recorded by him or not. The guy being honest guy, as I, you know, observed, never denied it rather he said we did not put um whatsapp record but this was exactly what we said on uh, other uh, Igbo, Igbo uh, channel other conversation or interview but we said that but not on call on video call uh, we never recorded such so what matters is was that thing said? Whether by call or by writing or by comment commentary or so on, was that statement made? That's the most of important thing. Life has no duplicates. I'm not supporting anybody. So if you, it's only the tree, a tree that you said I'm gonna cut you tomorrow, and this tree will still stand there. Outside this tree. No other thing in life you say, I'm going to kill you tomorrow. And that thing will still stand there. Talk more of a human being. That I listened to um, when she must have finished saying everything about uh, the Chinedu. I went and listened to what Chinedu, uh, I now went online, uh, put his name, his channel. I now listened to that particular video. After listening to the that video, I uh, think I saw I had that particular uh, thread. One of them was saying, uh, um, on the thread, one of them was saying um, that he's he has come back from UK, you know, coming uh, 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 using the car parading that um, in fact it will rain on him. You know, so that it will rain on him. Now, Mary Man, that is straight of life. That is straight to life. Now, Mary Gezoyanisi in Ibo land. You know what it means? It's an ambiguous statement. It means a lot of stuff. That means he may be. It, it it can be translated depends the way you want to translate it. It might be he, oh, oh, he will be out of picture. He will. Kick the bucket, uh, we'll silence him, uh, we'll win him, depends what you think. So, he's not a witch, neither is he a prophet to know what they have in mind. But the threat has come, it has come. He has to shout for his life, his dear life. Okay, uh, again, the, the same guy said, uh, 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 he, they see that car he's parading with, that's another thing uh, uh, that will be taken out of out from him oh my goodness why M must you talk about his care what has his car to do with what we are fighting for that is his wealth that is his wealth why must you just think of taking it out from him by omission or commission by any means should that be convertious or envy Men spend me this. There's nobody to be, even myself, even you, or literally, uh, or whatever. Nobody can make such commentary on your side and you will never talk. You must shout for the world to hear. People like Saraki shouted. People like uh, all these big politicians, Dilo uh, Minaye, uh, uh, they shout when they, you know, suspect such. Talk more of Chinedu. In 
that locality called uh, uh, Anambra State. So what did you want him to do? To just keep silent? And he will be, you know, he will want to miss or die. Or... It's better he shout. If actually is what those people are planning, then they will know that, oh, the world have heard it. And they wouldn't do nothing anymore. You don't expect him to just shut his mouth. You don't expect him to do that. Even you condemning that action, were you able to coach him and ask him, why did you come on public with this? Then you also came on public to rubbish him. Your some brother too. You a beer friend, he's a beer friend. All of us are beer friends. We are coming to condemn ourselves, calling our calling each other names. You called him a, a saboteur. Uh, um, now telling the, the young man, even when they were telling the young man, uh, either in South Africa, Egypt, or whatever, I don't know. He wasn't even taking it serious. You were the one telling him, oh, Chinedu did not do it well. He did it bad. He didn't do it well. He did it bad. Were you trying to, you know, escalate the problem? Instead of you finding a way to put these two people together, like what uh, um, Ohaneze, you know, Ndibo, the chairman did. He said, oh, um, Asare uh, de Kobo, between Asare de Kobo and uh, Mazen Nandekalo, he said, please, both of you, Mazen, uh, Mazen Nandekalo, please try your best to make peace with uh, Asare de Kobo. This is not the time for us to quarrel, but this is the time for us to unite and uh, achieve what we want. Oh my goodness, when I listened, when I read the response of Mazen Nande Kahlo to Asare de Kobo, I saw humanity. I respected uh, Mazen Nande Kahlo. I've never been interested in all these, uh, uh, all these uh, uh, um, Biafra, Nigeria issues or whatever and so on. I read them, but I don't put much, you know, uh, interest in, you know, commenting on those. But when I read the response of Mazen Nande Kahlo, oh my goodness, the humanity there, how he was able to debunk the allegations of uh, uh, um, Asare de Kobo, calling him a scammer, saying he collected money from Atiku, and uh, there was another number three allegation. He was able, you know, to debunk them one after the other in intelligently. And finally, that was the most area, in fact, I doff my cap for him. I started giving him my respect, where he said, Asare de Kobo, Chief Alhaji Al Asare de Kobo, he was giving him his titles, respecting him. Finally, he told him, if you have the better way of actualizing this sovereignty of Biafra, I would like you to bring out that your strategy. What we are after is to actualize this, you know, sovereignty of Biafra. In fact, when I heard that and saw that humanity, in, I never believed that it will come so, such low, you know, somebody that someone called names, a scammer, uh, 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 a deceiver, you know, that he collected money, he a murderer too thank you that was the third one you know a murderer that uh, he masterminded the the killing of uh, professor anthony Mwoke. you called people someone all these names yet in all humanity the person was respecting you calling you by titles with respect and finally submitted by you that if you have the better strategy to actualize this sovereignty of Biafra, that he should bring it forward. I mean, if the leader, the global leader of this mass of should come low this way, why are we fighting each other on medias? Are we doing all these things to, you know, attract uh, more subscription 
and uh, more viewers or are we doing it uh, for the betterment of what we are fighting for the movement so my people i think uh, it's so bad it's so bad we're fighting back and forth each other in this manner i mean god forbid we are nowhere we are here trying to you know spoil what somebody has taken years to you know gather that has caused him being in the country and he's you know another country fighting why he should be there in nigeria enjoying like most of force that are there no they nearly killed him because of this but people that have put little or nothing are using propagandas selfish uh, talk you know to just delay what should have come faster so my people i think uh, what am i trying to say i'm not trying to you know cause anybody i'm not trying to uh blame anybody i'm not trying to uh, call names and god forbid that i should call anybody names but what i'm telling us is this i was listening to one um royal highness uh, from river state um uh, one of the interviews now is a uh, is a uh, omega ogunka you know so I was Omenego Ogunka, yeah. So from River State, they were asking him about uh, Asari. He was also there saying that uh, Asari is now working for Nigeria. Um, they are giving him uh, the security to pipeline in River State, and uh, they are not with him anymore. That is why he's doing what he's doing. He was there also saying uh, a lot of stuff uh, against uh, Asari Dokobo too. So, you know these things, I don't know what to believe anymore and uh, who to say, yes, this is the right person to follow now, except on Nande that is uh, at least uh, has the, uh, the, 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 the major, you know, popularity, the major followers because of what he has sacrificed, you know. So what is going on? There is no how to actualize the sovereignty of Biafra by fighting each other no by gossiping no by criticizing by threatening our lives instead of us coming together in unison in oneness to fight our battle we are here fighting ourselves fighting each other because when we are fighting each other we are fighting ourselves and those we are asking to free us will be there laughing they will be there laughing so my people i think it's high time we you know become selfless in this movement you know we be our brother's keeper we love each other we try to you know manage conflicts that's what we call conflict management we'll be able to manage conflict there is there is a, there is no organization no society no community that will never have crisis but their ability to manage their crisis in, uh, internally makes them more you know uh, 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 matured you know so what I'm saying in this movement is really unexpected. It is not exactly what I expected because I believe that uh, there should be oneness. No one person can, you know, achieve this. No one person can achieve it, you know. So don't let all these things we are doing, fighting each other, you know, not spoil what said. Uh, uh, Ojuku started, Wazurike came, now Nandekalo. So all these they are suffering and other big supporters, 
in diaspora are there back home uh, by uh, talk by finance and the ideas don't let us not just uh, use our selfishness to destroy all these efforts please my people if you in fact i would like you to uh, read the response of uh, Mazen and Carlo to Asare de Kobo's uh, allegations that will i think uh, teach all of us more especially some of us that come on the social media use our youtube uh, channels to talk on biafra i think what we should be talking is uh, how to actualize this sovereignty of biafra how to you know the strategies to win our enemies our oppositions the uh, the civilized and the domestic international ways you know strategies to come closer to what we want or even to achieve what we want it's not time for us to fetch each other to say who who, uh, who is a saboteur and who is not a saboteur who we should push out and uh, who we should not push out so what picture are we creating how are we gonna be if we study this way and I think most of us that are uh, in diaspora, you know, sometimes uh, contribute much in trying to put sand in, in, inside this uh, uh, good eba, which, which is not meant well for us. It's not meant well for us. Like this thing happens between uh, Chinedu and this people, I don't know whether he was uh, he was able to you know confront these people to call them and ask them why should you do this? I don't know. You know, so I think uh, when this happened, this is, he would have yeah that's true. Try and uh, confront his people, settle with them, ask them why. What have I done wrong? Okay, let us put our ideas together and make it work but themselves talking you know in that way on how it will run on him how the car will be you know taken out from him uh, what he was doing in UK or what he was not doing there and so on as is bad the lady coming to condemn him is bad also so please do not fail okay, to subscribe, um, my, my people. Like I was saying, it's too bad. You know, the lady was not supposed to uh, come up like that and calling him names. It, it's uncalled for. Please let us change all this our attitude. It can't help us. You know. So remember, finally, my people, two cannot work together unless they agree. Uh, united, we, you know, stand. Uh, and uh, united, uh, we stand and win, and uh, divided, we fall. That is the truth. You know, you know, broom, a broom, a bunch of broom is very, very difficult for you to break it. But when you single it out, it will be easy to be broken. So let us be one bunch of broom, not one single broom. God bless you. We meet in the next video. Peace out.